Hello everyone. I've been gone for the last couple of days, but uh, I'm back here and I'll try and get through two stories in one video. And here we go. Soap and water. As I washed my hands at a friend's home <clears throat> one day, I looked. No I took notice of the bar of soap, how its shape was worn and distorted of many uses before me. I thought of how soap and water were used to clean hands and wash away dirt. It occurred to me that the living water, Jesus, uses soap, his word, to wash away the dirt, sin, in our lives. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of, of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. That's from Revelation 7. Verse 17. Like rinse water, he washes over us until we are clean. The, slope, the soap is ever changing, but God's word never changes. When we read it, hear it, study it, and pray on it, we will see its meaning a little differently every time. The word of Jesus will never wear down or fade to a, sil to a sliver to be discarded. Rather, its supply is unlimited. If we use it and him as frequently as we wash our hands, eventually we will free, feel as clean from sin as we do when we rinse away the, dirt sta the day's dirt. At the end of our work day, after we wash, we usually sit down for supper. Please know that God has a banquet prepared for all of us. We just need to be ready we just need to ready ourselves with a little soap and water. The face of God. Have you ever imagined what the face of God looks like? An old man with a white beard and a stern tan face? Since no one except Jesus has ever seen him, this is probably wrong. Genesis 1 verse 27 says, He made us in his own image, which is why we see him the different ways we do, but this does not actually refer to physical appearance. One Sunday evening during a sermon, I heard a statement that we should never put God in the box of our limited imaginations. It's not for us to place limitations on him, rather, we should allow him to be limitless within us. When we witness his works in action, like new believers coming to him, answers to prayers being revealed, financial help from an unlikely source, or any form of healing, then perhaps this is when we see the true face of God. It could be that when we witness, encourage, love, feed, or teach in his name, God's image is seen by those we help. We also should view this image as God's face. Look not with your eyes, see with your heart, and we will soon show him, and he will soon show himself. <clears throat> 